So I was just looking up the Super Collider that was in Waxahachie, Texas. And I hadn't, I mean, most people don't know that there is one in Texas, in Ellis County. And it is abandoned now. And I think they spent $2 billion on building it. I mean, this is what it looks like now. I mean, it looks, it still looks pretty decent. It's just unkept grass. But if you look at the, look at everything that you read up on it, I mean, that's a wrong, that's wrong right there where it says that it was at $800 million. And they claimed to claim that it was poorly ran and that the reason, another reason why they closed it was it was going to be about $12 billion to finish it. And that the collapse of the Soviet Union was another reason. And let's see. And George H.W. Bush was the main backer, even before he was president, when he was vice president. He was the main backer for this to be done. And I think it was supposed to be done in like South Carolina or North Carolina. And on the second day in office, Bush made a order to send it to Waxahachie. They had all the top scientists around the world moving to Waxahachie, Texas. Oh, I need to bring that back up. That is how big it was going to be. And if you look at that, that's kind of weird because that doesn't match up. Well, I guess it does. But it would have been all the way out. It would have taken up more than almost the whole all of 287 that was going to 35 on both sides. It would have went out probably all the way out to here. I mean, we've been having earthquakes since like 2007, 2006, but they're like tremors. I mean, we never even notice them. The most that we can, we can notice is when maybe water in a bottle just moves a little bit. That's the most that we've ever felt here. But everybody says that's because of fracking. And I, I guess that could be true. I don't know. Maybe t more tunnels are being built. Who knows? Or how many nuclear power plants we have around here who knows but it's really interesting that at my age I had I'm 28 I had no idea that there was a super collider in Texas much less in my backyard I live in Fort Worth over here well around Fort Worth and I used to live closer to Dallas and we'd drive out there we'd go I used to go fishing all the time I'd hit up all these lakes and we'd drive by Waxahachie all the time and there I'd, I've never seen this never heard of this and so I'll, I was watching a video on YouTube a couple weeks ago and it piqued my interest. And I guess there's just not a lot of stuff known about CERN or 
any of the super colliders that are that we only know of a couple of them and that's it's a mystery on the other couple besides CERN so it's interesting to look up but it was going to be 20 TEV which is more than CERN is well publicly at least they said that it, at CERN it's I think they said it was 12 Let's see if I can find it real quick Let's see 6 okay maybe I was off I think I was thinking about miles. It was going to be 54 miles. 17. That's ridiculous. And they quit building it because it was going to cost more money? I don't know about that. I want to go out there and see this. I know that some people went out there after it was abandoned and they went out there to see it and they got in and everything but they said that they saw all the some of the tunnels were completed but I haven't seen many pictures of the tunnels being completed but I'll probably make another video just on the tunnels. It's so crazy.